Hello and welcome to Conversations with me, your host, Sarahina Mayoyo, a space that we've opened for us as sisters to come and talk to one another about our issues, but also look at solutions to those issues. Now, as women, it's easy for us to look at our behavior and change our behavior because it's easy for people to see the things we do outwardly. And also, society teaches us things that are outside. For instance, how you dress, how you walk, how you talk. So it's easy for us to look at those. But there are issues of the heart that nobody can see. A woman's heart is a deep ocean of secret by Rose Devet Baketa from the Titanic quote is so true. It talks about how a woman's heart is like a deep sea of secrets and we know about those secrets. My co-host and I are going to look at those secrets today because there's a famous wise king that once said out of the heart come the issues of life. So we want to know what these issues are and if they are good for us. So stay tuned. Welcome. Welcome, Matsako. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, my friend. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yes. Thank you for joining us yet again. Please just introduce yourself and let us know a bit more of yes. who you are. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, my name is Matsako Njumbuka. I am um, a very good friend yes. of Sarahina's, as you have seen in past episodes. I'm a mother of three kids um, and I am a partner, sister, daughter, and um, I'm also a, a um, professional for, I'm a content producer for yeah. a, a company, a yeah. certain company, and I'm very excited to be here today. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much for inviting me again. It's friend. always awesome mm -hmm. when we are having our chats, yes. our sisterhood oh. chats. Our life-changing chats. Yeah. Now, today we're talking about matters of the heart, yeah. and actually the topic for today says enemies of mm. the heart, actually. Sure. Um, as women especially, enemies of the heart. Mm -hmm. And when, when we started, you know, we spoke about a, 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 a famous quote, let me not say famous, but a quote mm -hmm. by a wise king, yeah. King Solomon, Solomon. Who, who, who wrote these words, out of the heart come the issues of life, right. you know. And we, we always focus on our, you know, external, our behavior, you know, how we appear to people, mm -hmm. how, how, how she carries herself. She, she carries herself with so much grace. Mm -hmm. But actually... Everything that is outside, that is seen in our lives, it comes from the heart, you know, as, as King Solomon has said. Um, and I'd like you to sort of, you know, say what you think about that as well before we delve deeper into this conversation. You know, um, I, I'm, a, I'm a strong believer in that. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe that really the person that you see externally speaks to how good or bad a person's heart is. I don't want to say a person's heart is bad. Yeah. But you know, when you say some, uh, like the, the sayings like, your own is It's like a because mirror. It, it, yes, your heart is, your, is a mirror of, of who you are, yeah. you know. It, it, the things that you do and the things that you engage in and the things that you waste your time, or not waste, but spend your time mm -hmm. on come from what's in your heart. Yeah. And I think that's one of the uh, uh, most important things and things that I've learned that you need to always make sure that your heart is in the right place. I was going to say that exactly. Always make sure that your heart is in the right place. Your, your, your heart must be healthy for you to be healthy to type be healthy, of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For exactly. your external. So yeah. like that, that, that examining and uh, examination of where your heart is and where you, you, where you spend your time um, speaks to, to, I mean, whatever it is that's in your heart then translates to whatever it is that you, can, uh, that you spend your time on. Yeah. What do you think about the quote we started with? Mm -hmm. A woman's heart is a deep sea of secrets. Yo, it is a sad truth, Chong. Ne? It's such a sad truth. True, truth. though. Ne? It's true. It's, we, it's like sad. We, we host so many exactly. secrets. Exactly. Exactly. And it's not healthy. Why do you think we do? Why do you think we are such secretive beings? I think it goes back to, to, to how we were created, that we are emotional beings. Okay. Everything we take to heart. I remember okay. uh, 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 who once said, you know, there's a difference between a man and a woman. Mm -hmm. When a man wakes up in the morning, okay, he's, he uses an analogy of a rope. Okay. When a man wakes up in the morning, he, he wakes up, he goes to work, he gets bothered by what's happening at work, mm -hmm. he ties that knot in okay. his head. And then later on, his boss says something, he ties that knot. Okay. If again, he wants something from the wife, the wife doesn't want to give him, he ties that knot. Yeah. Those are three knots in the day. Okay. The wife... You wake up, the husband doesn't greet you, not tied. 
the kids upset you, not tired. You get out, you drive, you see someone who is on the side. Yeah. Remember when we we're coming here? Yes, sidewalk, that guy. That guy, you're hurt by that. That's a tide. So all this, everything <gasps> that you see creates something in you. Wow. And that's our heart because that's, that's how we're created. We can't undo it. But then how we deal with it then. Yes. It's because now you come, you come back home to your husband with a hundred knots that I he doesn't mean. even know about. That is, that just blew me away, Dude. by the way, because I'm, I'm actually, because I'm a visual person, mm -hmm. I'm actually visualizing that rope right now. Exactly. And it's shorter because of all the knots. All the knots. You know? Now you're short tempered. There's no more time. Who is not happy because you've got the short fuse. Because My of word. Things. As a result, well, he was, it was, a, it was a, a marriage seminar. Okay. So he was saying, as a result, as a man, you have to understand that you need to untie all. Sure knots these men nation. need to untie all the knots in order for you to get the There's true essence yeah. of your woman but it's true there are more knots on our side than, than on theirs than that on is like a truth we can't they don't care now we, we we are now shifting to the topic itself mm. enemies of the heart mm. and i i because this is such a huge and vast topic i i picked up only four okay that i'd like us to look at <laughs> as women an entire four do we have time an entire four <laughs> Enemies of the heart for women. Um, so I'm just going to give you all four and then we are going to like look at them differently. Mm -hmm. The first one is guilt. Mm. Yeah. The second one is greed. Mm. Third one is jealousy. Mm. Fourth one is anger. Yeah. yeah. Those are four enemies of the heart that I want us to look at, you know, especially as women mm. from our hearts. And these are things that emanate, that, that have their rooting. Mm. In our hearts, mm. right? Mm. Um, and, and just to give like a, a, a quick synopsis of each. Remember, guilt means, guilt is when you, you say, I owe you. Mm. It's when you always feel mm. condemned because mm. you owe for something you've done. Mm. Greed, greed is when you say, I owe me. I must get for me. Or oh, I'm deserving of. I'm deserving of. Mm. Jealousy is when you say, God owes me. How can God give it to Matsuko and not me? So guilty. So we are saying God owes me. And mm. anger is when I say you, the next person, owes oh. me. Mm. So I want us to delve deep into those <sighs> and how real they are in our lives and how sometimes we don't even pick them up. Mm. You know, let's go to that guilt one. Mm. Listen, before you even go anywhere, a mother's guilt. Ooh. Mm. A mother's guilt. A mother's guilt. You a know, working sorry. mother's guilt. Just li wait, sorry. I'm thinking, as you are saying now, I'm actually thinking of myself, <laughs> you know? I'm thinking of myself exactly. when this sometimes, <laughs> like, it's, it's my child's birthday. And work. I'm working. But you have to work. And that guilt is so real because <gasps> you wake up now at five o'clock to, to trying to pro make the long the day, the day longer. longer you know and you put on candles and you sing and you you're trying to give her you, you know what i'm saying you're just saying right now you stumbled into a room because you're so tired i was so tired yesterday. in the morning but i had to do it mm. so exactly what you're saying a mother's, a guilt. mother's guilt goodness even at that i feel like that defines women right now sure because we are so stuck in wanting to be powerful women and women who do it all but at the same time when you get home, you couldn't do homework for these people because you're at, ho at, at, at work. You couldn't cook for your family. Also, you because you've got homework in. yourself. You've got homework I mean, yourself. You've got files when Listen. you come back to, to, uh, at home. And, and before, I, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm cutting you because we have to go to a quick oh. break. But also on that, you know, the fact, I, I don't want us to make it such a bad thing, mm. Uguti. Mm. Mm. We have to work. Yes, no. Because we're talking about that, that emotion that comes, Uguti. Is it valid? You know, and, and can we actually do without it, mm. even though we're mm. still, mm. you know, working and, and, and doing all these mm. things. But I want us to take from that point. Yeah. So yeah. we'll be right back. Stay tuned. I want to encourage every woman to own their story. And when I say own their story, I mean everything. The good, the ugly, the bad. Also the stretch marks, the glow and everything in between. So let's chat on chatting with Sarahina. This show is about connecting you to your journey to validate your walk. Also, what it's about is a non-judgmental space where women can come together and speak about their issues. It also is for every woman. And when I say every woman, I mean all of us. So join us 
so that we can listen to each other's stories and actually help one another. Welcome back and you are still watching Chatting with Sarahina. So before the break, we were talking about something very, you know, um, interesting. Yeah. Our topic today is enemies of the heart mm -hmm. and especially women's hearts. And we went through them. We've got four that we're dealing with today. Guilt, anger, greed and jealousy. And we were still looking at guilt. And guilt. Matsako, actually you brought, yeah. you know, some, I mean... Yes. A mother's guilt. guilt. Yo. Mother's guilt. And, and, and you made a valid point that we shouldn't demonize it. So yeah. It's a valid feeling. Mm. And I think it's important because it checks you. It checks you. Had you not had that mother's guilt, you were, you were not going to wake up extra early today. That's it. To make sure that That's your daughter's it. birthday. You know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm. It, 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 it's heavy. And I, I almost want to say, I almost want to say it's heavy, it's valid. And I almost want to say don't feel bad about it. That's what we actually want to say yes. today. Don't feel bad about it. We, we want to, to actually come against those, those feelings, yes, those, those, those liars. Yes. Because you're not going to stay home the whole day and not go to work. Mm, you are a woman who goes to work. Exactly. So, but, you know, when, when, for instance, the example I made, when you are a woman who is able to say, I'm going to cut my day, in segments mm -hmm. and in this first segment I'm going to give my child 100% mm. and mm. then I'm going to go to work and give work 100% yes. there guilt whenever guilt comes you must know it's a lie from the devil yes because yes. you've actually yes. done what, what you, you could do all right exactly. with what you are dealt exactly. with so 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 the solution to this particular problem is to be intentional about your time yes be intentional about your time it goes back to another episode that we had where you say you have to literally give a hundred percent to every one thing that you do don't touch here and touch then touch there. that's when guilt will come because that's when guilt will exactly. come if you touch everything at the same exactly. time exactly if you tell yourself that from when I wake up up until I go, that's this hundred. Is me and my child. That's exactly. 100%. And then when I get to work or whatever, I'm not worried about my child. I'm faced here. I'm, I'm there we giving hundred percent. There we go. You know. So we, we that's that's what we're dealing with now because th these these enemies are, are when we say they are enemies already we know they are on the opposite exactly. side. So they come from the opposition and we know who opposes yes. us. Yes. So now we need to be intentional in fighting the one who opposes yes. us to say that not today. <laughs> Not today, mm -hmm. because I know that. that I've actually done well. Mm -hmm. And you actually even pat yourself, yourself in, in the, the back. back on too. some in your face. I pat mm -hmm. myself in the back because I did I well. I did it. So, okay, I'm going to rush us now. Yes. To the next, to the next one. one. We mm -hmm. go to greed. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. greed. Uh, and, and, and I think, you know, remember when we were also giving the explanations. Yeah. Greed is when you feel you owe yourself mm -hmm. And I mean, uh, can I make this example? Yeah. Growing up, I grew up with a lot of different people around me. My age, peers. Mm -hmm. And my peers, some people who were close to me as well, they, they, they grew up f well. Mm -hmm. They did the good girl things. Mm -hmm. they, 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 they looked after themselves. Yeah. They, yeah. you know, and there was me, the black sheep, who did Everything, Everything <laughs> that was not supposed to be done. Yeah. Um, and, and now, later on in life, I'm at this point that I'm at. I'm married. I've got a daughter. And, you know, I'm walking this purpose life. And, I, you know, I can't sometimes not pick up mm. that, you know, some of my peers from back then, especially the ones who were good, good girls, who were good. They, they feel... Mm. That you're not deserving. Firstly, you are. Why would she? Because we, we did good. As as, as if to say, we bought what she has now, sure. right? So so in our behavior. So now it's a matter of you know what? I'm gonna go take it for myself. Mm. You know, I'm gonna mm. go take it for myself. And that's where greed emanates from. It's a matter of saying that yo, I owe myself. Mm. I owe myself. Mm. I owe this to myself because do you know how much I've sacrificed? Yes, how much I've worked. How much I've worked for this? Mm. So but I it, owe it, me. My friend, in that case though, can we say it's greed? Like it, it's it's a, it borders greed and jealousy. Yeah. 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 It borders mm. greed and jealousy, mm. but the, the, the greed side of it is, is when it gets to that point that says, I'm going to trample on... F on whatever I need wha to trample on. I'm going to gonna break the rules if mm. I have to. Mm -hmm. Because I owe myself. Mm. Because do you know what I've sacrificed? And there are a lot of people who do that. Yes. Try corporate. corporate. Try government. Corporate. Try mm -hmm. government. Mm. People who are in big positions and they say, do you know 
how much I've suffered in the past and you think that I'm going to just let this money go. pass by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I owe myself. Even in that situation, it's, it's a matter of checking yourself mm. because um, it's, it's a very dangerous emotion sure. and it, it, it goes back to the things that we do with that mm. emotion. Mm. Because externally, everything else that you're going to do with that prying emotion is definitely going to be negative. There's no positivity that can come from exactly. that. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I think, you know, also, you know, you, know, you, you find some friends mm -hmm. who are always expecting mm. to, to take, mm. but they never, give. ever mm. give. <laughs> ever. <laughs> they always take. Mm. And you'll find that deep down, Deep down in that person's heart stems something, mm. something very bitter mm. that says, I owe me this. Exactly. So if Sarahina is getting paid this much, she must give me a exactly. thousand rand every, every month. Imagine. Because do you know, mm. you know, I owe, I, I owe it to my, myself. I, I owe myself that. Do you understand? So no, it's, it's, understand. it's, it's, it's one of those things where you, so, so we go back again to what you said. You check yourself, mm. you go back and you actually realize that we all have different journeys there's nothing wrong in you having you know grown up to be a good girl mm -hmm. perhaps your your reason for, for being, being a good, good girl, girl was, was wrong right. because you were being a good right. girl to show off that you're a good girl and to, and to buy Sarahina. and to buy a future mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. but sarahina was being a bad girl according to you know you. the terms n unaware Unaware, and for her, it was a journey. Yeah. It was a journey. She didn't have an agenda, necessary. right? Mm -hmm. So it, it becomes then a matter of you need to go and check what you, your why. Mm -hmm. Your why? Why do you feel like that? Yeah. And also, why do you do the things you do? You do. Is it because you want to get paid mm -hmm. at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. Let's shift quickly to jealousy for like, <laughs> we're going to like introduce jealousy for five seconds. Okay. You know, and we said jealousy is when we feel God owes us. So guilty. That's a big ah, one. I'm so guilty of that. How I'm does so God that. give her that and platform? Not give me. And not give me. God, I tithe. God, I go to church. I mean. God, on Fridays, she's in, at the club. I'm busy with your work. And it's and so true. We, I mean, we need I to be listen. so, tr you know, so honest about it. It's so true. That's, that's true. what happens. And you find prayers that are filled with such bitterness. You know, prayers that are... You even hear a mother in church praying. Bam Teluguti close the music <laughs> session. <laughs> and she starts telling you about the fact that people drive big cars. Yeah, I'm going to end it there. And then we're going to come back to the big cars. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Still watching Chatting with Sarahina. And we are talking about enemies of the heart, especially mm -hmm. for women. And before the break, I want us to go straight there. We were talking about jealousy. Yeah. And we're talking also mm -hmm. about how these things actually start exposing us. Mm -hmm. You know, at some point, you know, we may think we have been hiding them well, mm -hmm. you know, covering them nicely with our makeup. Yeah. And the, yeah. the example we're making before the break is that you get exposed in a, in a prayer, prayer, you know, and then we prayer. actually see the ugly things that, that are in your heart. heart. Ngelo Tasha, you are a mama with a nice suit on and pantyhose, you know, and all that. Can't. The heart yeah. is looking at and somebody else's new shoes. And, <laughs> <laughs> and but you, you know what? Um, and we were talking about this earlier on. The, the, the Holy Spirit has such a sense of humor. God has such <laughs> a sense of humor. Because he will expose you. He will expose you. And I'm, I'm also tempted to say, wait for that time where you are exposed because that's the time maybe your change is going to come. That is a beautiful time. That's a time where That's your empowerment come. point. You know, because uh, hopefully, Paul, if, if you have a learned it's, spirit, it, it is an opportunity. Let's it's call an opportunity it an opportunity. Learn, yeah. You know, because you cannot live your life blaming God for your actions. Because sometimes the situations we put ourselves in, the reason why you don't even have the things that you have or you think you, you want, want. Mm. is because of the decisions that you've made leading up to that. Yeah. And every decision that we made has a consequence. Mm. God is going to forgive you for those consequences or those decisions, but you will live the consequence. And I think also, you know, we are so quick to forget. Mm -hmm. 
Because it, you can't tell me that you are age 40 and you can't find one good thing God has done for you in your life. I said, no, there's no way. I mean, then you there's are... no way. Can I, can I say this? Can I say this? You are a liar <laughs> if you say that. Okay? <laughs> like, straight. Because... We are so quick to forget the goodness of God, of God when we get word. ourselves into these into situations, situations of jealousies. And then we start saying, ah, you know what? And I, I mean, I'm, I'm saying this from my own experience. Go and take care of the children you like. Mm. The mm. ones that you are mm. doing good mm. things for. Mm. The ones mm. that are having all the stuff. They Go and take care of those children. Leave me alone. Because obviously, Clearly you I don't like exist. Them more than I, do. I don't exist you to know? you. At, at that time, we ask Aklin Inyani, you know You the know truth. that the, the fact you that you are able truth. to even breathe to say those words. <laughs> it's, it's testimony enough that you are loved. Because you, you are were loved. woken up that morning, right? Like, okay, let's go to the fourth one so that we can... Anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anger with women. Yeah. Women plus anger. Yeah. Anger plus yeah. women. Yeah. Anger is when you yeah. say, you guys, you people, hey. you owe me. You owe me. Yes. And, and, and I think, you know, I know it too well. I, I mean, too. I entered my relationship with my now husband mm -hmm. very angry. I and I felt he owed me things he didn't, you know, never even indebt. promised you. He also, he never did to me. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't take credit for the things I wanted him to pay for. Sure. You know, I, I, I felt that he owed me understanding mm. because I come from abuse. So he must just understand that I flip when I want. So I decide when, you know. And also I felt that he, 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 he owed me. He owed me what I wanted from my dad at a specific time. Mm. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah. He, like he, how do you even explain that yeah, to him? He owes, me he owes me understanding in those moments when I act like a five-year-old. Mm. Mm. And mm. he can't expect to be dealing with his wife at that moment. He must understand he's dealing with, with the five-year-old, five -year the hurt mm -hmm. five-year-old, and he must just deal with it. And actually, he must hug me the way a father is supposed to hug a five-year-old girl. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's, a, it's a tough one. You're the anger one, because you one. find that we are angry at people for things they don't even they know. They have no idea. They, they don't even no know what they've done to us, but we are angry, my friend. It, yo, I think I think that's the heaviest one. It's big. It's the heaviest one for me because it speaks then to the to to the life hurts and the life life um, experiences. Yeah, you know that packed we, up. You know they now they're packed up one on top of the other, and by like for instance by by that anger you 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 it, you could easily lose valuable people in your life. Yeah. You could easily lose important people, people that are supposed to be there in your life. But God is faithful. Mm. You will probably mm. lose them, but they'll come back. Mm. They will come back. Or you'll find Oh, you'll find others, uh, others uh, replacements. Yeah. Because God is faithful and your purpose will be fulfilled either way. Yeah. But if we don't deal, and this is the part that I wanted us to get to. I'm mm. sorry. <laughs> to take mm. If we don't deal with them, my friend, if we don't go back to the center. Yeah. Those things will not be exposed to us mm -hmm. because more often than not, all of these, all of these emotions and all of these, uh, these four aspects of, yeah. of, of the heart, mm -hmm. you probably don't even know them. You're not even aware of That's them. That's it. You don't when know you them. Are, it, it go, when are you thinking it's your character? So people must understand that this is the kind of person that you are. Exactly. You say that hurtful anger. things. You say hurtful things to people, and you say no. Ah, uh, you know, honest. man. It's me. This I'm is how honest. I am. This is the person, per the person that I am. But I'm straightforward. Hurtful. Exactly, I'm straightforward. You are a hurtful person mm. and you are not entitled to hurt people just because you think. And when I, you don't know that it actually stems from the heart. Yeah. This is, is rotten and there's only one person who can actually fix that. Um, Jesus also adds to this thing of hearts and, and stuff coming out of the heart. He says everything that comes out of the mouth mm -hmm. comes from the heart. <laughs> so whatever you say with your mouth, leave the lips. Mm. It's coming from the heart. Mm. It's the overflow mm. of your heart. So if evil is coming out of your mouth, guess what is overflowing in your heart? Exactly. Right? Exactly. If nastiness is what comes out of your mouth as a woman, I mean, mm. I mean, Jesus says this is not Sarahim. No. If nastiness comes out of your mouth, then we know what's in your heart. And, and I think 
these are things we need to be intentional about as women. Intentional, my friend. Go and look at them. Mm. Because honestly, our society has made it easy for us to run away from dealing with our hearts. Mm. You know, because the heart is nicely tucked away, mm. hidden. Nobody can see it really, What's going you know, on? at mm. face value. What people can see is your behavior. Yeah. So what we work so hard for, and some of us even trick ourselves. We go to these conferences, Zabo Sarahina, empowerment conferences, just so that we can practice these things mm -hmm. outwardly. Outward. We don't want to commit mm. in terms of going mm. internally. Mm. We just mm. want to practice. Oh, Sarahina said, a woman, so. a wife does this. Let me practice it outwardly. And you're going to get tired. It's not sustainable. It's going to wear out. It's not sustainable. You know, if it doesn't come from the heart, you cannot sustain it. Okay, can I just make an example? <coughs> so I call my husband daddy. Ne? And don't ask why. I think I know why. I call, I, I, I call, I call him daddy. And I've always called him daddy. And know, it's, since, so, since it's so easy for me. Even people who meet me, they call him that now. Mm. Because now I was in the circle of women who kept hearing this daddy thing. And they <laughs> and they started adopting it, and they were calling their husbands daddy, right? Like and and I could see, you know, when you can see that the husbands are like, and then, uh, okay, are you talking to me? <laughs> but then you know, and it happened over a period of time, and and it was nice, you know. I mean, but at some point, not sustainable. And one particular one in in an experience that I actually witnessed, this woman was like. Because she still wants to hang on to this. Yeah, we're not dead. <laughs> but now she's angry. She wants to tell him where to get off. But she also wants to, <laughs> you <Maintain>. know. <laughs> so it's, for me, I was like, when, when it comes from the heart, it's not just the words, daddy. Mm. It's the tone mm. as well. Because so in that, mo in that moment, daddy, I'm like, no. no it can't be. No, it can't be. So, so, so things that really, you know, stem from mm. the heart, you, you even see them when they come out of the mouth. True. You may practice nice words, mm. but the tone will tell that True. you don't even mean the nice words you're saying. True. True. And that's, that's how fake people are created. Exactly. That's where fakeness. now fakeness. Exactly. That's where created. fakeness comes. Because, because now you're picking up everything externally. Yes. You know, but I think, uh, do you know, there is some depth to that as well, because you, uh, you, you are a person who is self-aware. Yeah. To be fake. Yeah. To be fake, you have to be aware. You are mm. aware that Luzio Yako does actually does not fit in. As a result, as you a result, have to. You have to put up this. So, you know, there's a certain type of depth there. And I think it's, it's, it's actually even more dangerous. Yeah. To know that when it's UMB, mm. and to a such an extent that you have to adopt a persona that's good. So what would you say to help that person? It's the center of it all. Sure. There's only one person who's, who can put up a mirror yeah. and show you who you are. Mm -hmm. And that's God. Yeah. One person. Acquaint yourself with God. Spend Hallelujah. time in the word to see who you are. The mirror, the word. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Wow, lovely. Thank you so much. And time. our time is up again. Thank you so much for joining us. It's always awesome. And yes. we'll see you next time. Definitely. 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 Thank you, my friend. So as we've heard today, a lot of the things we're battling with and we are seeing around us emanate from the heart. I mean, we've got trending hashtags like hashtag depression is real. Where does it emanate from? It comes from the heart. Perhaps somebody did something at some point in your life and you never dealt with it. And that came with emotions like pain, disappointment, anger, jealousies that were never dealt with. And now you're making people pay for it. So now what do we do with all of this? I think as women, it is high time that we really introspect. Use God as our mirror to actually expose these things to us so that we can deal with them. Because remember also, you can't help what you don't know. You can't fix what you don't know is broken. So it's important for us to own up to our brokenness, to see the cracks in ourselves so that we can ask the relevant help. So I think that we need to ask God to actually expose our hearts to ourselves, not ask for anybody else to pay for the things that they didn't do in our lives. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation. Please do join us in our next episode. Goodbye.